hey welcome to my channel for today's video i'm gonna take all this and turn it into a beautiful unicorn piñata want to see how i did it keep on watching now to start this off i'm gonna go ahead and i already did like a little sketch of my unicorn of the shapes that i'm gonna be using to create it now in the legs i'm gonna be using the paper towel tubes the ones that are left over in the middle then as you can see there's going to be some cones towards the legs towards the mouth and then the circles are going to be a couple of balloons that i'm going to be using so that's just to give it an idea of how i'm going to start working on this now to start off i have these balloons which i did purchase from the dollar tree so it's not expensive i like this specific pack because it comes with a variety of different assorted kinds of balloons and shapes and sizes so I did took a smaller balloon and inflated it. So that would be the mouth of my unicorn. And then I am taking a couple of cardboard pieces from, you know, just when you go to a grocery store and everything comes in the cardboards, that's where I usually just save it up. And from there I start creating my, my um, pinatas or anything. So this is gonna, I'm just looking for the way to attach it to the balloon so that could be the mouth of my unicorn. Now, when I did the shape that I desired um, for the mouth, I did go ahead and just used a couple of um, tape and just attached it onto my balloon. So that would be the head of the unicorn. As you can see, I was going back and forth looking at a couple of references of pictures and then just worked my way from there. So the next part that I'll be working on, as you guys can see from the picture, it's gonna be the neck. I did blow up another balloon and then I took another box and I cut it in half, made sure it was open. And from there, I'm just gonna start constricting the neck. So I did kind of fold it and obviously it wasn't gonna go all the way around, so it's fine. I just did it half ways. And then for the other side, I just did it in the opposite direction and made it form like it shaped that part of the neck that I wanted. So I am just doing this with tape. I don't wanna pop my balloon. Now that I have attached my head to the chest, as you guys can see, now I could go ahead and work on the body. So I am just gonna go ahead and attach another balloon towards the butt, the behind, or whatever you wanna call it. And then in the middle, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up with like a um, piece of cardboard, which I'm gonna like wrap it around. Now right here, I did find these um, boxes from previous currents. You guys could use the soda ones as well, but I like these because they are a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. And then I'm to make it a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and attach them together with some tape. And then from there, I'm just going to roll it and turn it into kind of like a little tunnel. So that it could be the middle part of the body. Now that I have actually made this into like a little tunnel, I guess. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the balloon so first you want to go ahead and cut around the edges little cuts and then bend them out so that way it'll be easier for you to tape it together and it would be the center part of your body from your unicorn once you have done that you're just gonna go ahead and add tape and then after that continue to the back side of the unicorn and attach it the same way as I did the front now for the next step, what I'm going to do is going to take these cereal boxes and I'm going to cut them in half. And these are going to help me form the legs of the unicorn. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple of cones. Once you make your cones, you want to make sure that they have that kind of an angle towards the top because that's going to help you into attaching it to the body of the unicorn. And then I'm going to be taking a couple of um, tubes that are napkin tubes. The, don't use the toilet paper ones, they're too small. Use the longer ones that way it could give it a longer leg and then i'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the upper cone and then i'm gonna go ahead and towards the bottom of it make some smaller ones which are gonna work as the feet of the horse sorry the unicorn but yeah just make sure that you make it um the correct size and it fits in and once you have the size go ahead and cut it Okay, so now, so now that I have my cones, I'm just cutting them and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the leg of the unicorn, which 
the angle it really depends on how you want it i want one of the legs to be kind of in the air so that's why for one of them i'm gonna kind of like switch the angle a little bit but it all depends on how you want to make it that's a good thing about not just making a straight leg the way that i'm making it i could kind of switch around the shape and the form of how i want my unicorn to stand so with this tube i'm gonna use it and make the tail so i cut it through the middle this is the toilet paper one because it is a lot shorter and just made it a little bit thinner because i want this to be the tail and give it an arch now once i am done this is how it came out i as you can see i attach all the cones and the legs to the body and then i just add that part for the tail now the next step is really easy all i'm gonna do is take a bunch of um newspaper or the papers that are left over from from your mail the ones that you get with the food advertisement and i'm just gonna add layers and layers to my pinata and this is gonna give it that shape and form so i'm gonna go ahead and take my engrudo i think it's called paper mache in english i'm not sure and just add layers of it to the pinata you do need to add about three to four i always go a little bit extra and do a little bit more and it's totally fine that way it'll be stronger and less longer since this one i didn't use any staples to like hold it together another thing that i want to say is that i did not do all the layers one day um i actually worked on it for two days because the more layers that you add to it the more weight so since it is wet if it's too heavy it's gonna mess up the legs and maybe they won't be um the same so for that reason i did do only two layers and then i just wait it till the next day and wait for it to completely dry so that i could attach my sorry so i could do my other layers and make it stronger um i hope it does make sense and yeah, another thing that I do want to say is that my engrudo is made out of a mixture of water and flour. And I personally like to add glue so that it could be a little bit stronger. Okay, so just make sure that you do that. So this is what it looks like when it's dry. I did go ahead and add some string so that it could hang from. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and add my other two layers and let it dry i didn't get it on film but it's pretty much the same thing as the first time as you guys can see right here i am gonna use this spray to spray the legs and the horn because i'm not gonna be covering it in paper i'm just gonna add some glitter to it so that it could give the gold then touch to it but yeah it is gonna serve as a background to the glitter so that you won't be able to see any of that advertisement paper now that my paint has dried i'm gonna go ahead and apply some glitter it is golden glitter and i'll be using a glove because i don't want to like glitter gets messy and all over the place so i don't want to have it on me so yeah just gonna go ahead and apply my engrudo you can use glue if that was if that is what you have but since i already have this i'm just gonna use it and just pour it all over the the legs once I am done with doing that to the legs and the horn, I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of pink paper and cut it to shape of an ear so that that's going to be um, the inner part of the ear of the unicorn. You know how sometimes it looks kind of pink? Well, that's, that's it. Now moving on to the tail, I'm going to go ahead and take tissue paper. I'm just going to fold it into about... Mm, let's say you know, six times I think I did it I don't know but until it was like about this size and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through like little strands of hair I started off doing it straight but I wanted it to have like a curly texture to it so I just did it like in the S form hopefully I'm explaining myself correctly but an easier way to do it is if you have those crafting um, scissors you could use those the ones that come like the zigzags and the S shapes, yeah, those would work great for it. I don't have them, so I just had to move my hand into the shape that I wanted. So after I did cut it, I arranged them into the 
for um like how I wanted to apply them. This girl wanted like a rainbow tail, so these are all the colors that I used. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take some glue and put them on the tail. I'm starting off at the end of the tail and then working my way up like into the butt of my unicorn. So yeah. While putting on the tail, I am going to fix it as I go, make sure that it doesn't get all tangled and I will be applying it going around it. So you could also cut it into smaller strands and just apply one by one. Um, but I, this is the way that I decided to do it. Once I am finished with this color, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. As I told you guys before, I arranged the colors before applying them to see which way I would like for them to go. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and move on with the pink and continue to add the rest of the tail. Now moving on from the tail, we're going to go ahead and apply the hair that goes on top of the head. And as you guys can see, I am starting at the bottom and then just working my way up with the colors um, in the order that I had already set them. So I am applying one side and then moving it to the side, the hair. And once I am done, I'm going to move the hair back so that it could have like that part in, in the middle. And again, apply from the bottom up. And I didn't use as much paper as I did for the tail. As you guys can see, I did it shorter. Now right here, I am taking this white crepe paper, I believe. Um, I bought it in the rose just because it would be easier for me to cut it once I applied it to the body. And I did get this at the Dollar Tree. Now I did get a pack of two, um, thinking it was going to be enough, but... Once I realized it was not enough, I went back to the store and bought some more. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking strands of it and making my fringe paper. I feel like it is easier to use this than actual tissue paper because with the tissue paper, you have to like fold it and then cut it um, just to make it um, make the strands. And after that, you have to go ahead and move on to making the fringe. So now after I am done putting my paper, work. I am gonna go ahead and apply it to my pinata. So I will be starting at the bottom and working my way up because it have to be it has to be layered on top of each other. Um so yes I will be taking my engrudo and with the brush apply it on the area where I am gonna be working on and I do do it in sections. Um apply a couple of glue and then add the paper. Um, you do want to start off the bottom so that, as I said, um, the paper gets layered on top of each other. So yeah, um, pretty much that's all I'm going to be doing. And then I should be done after this. But it is going to take, this is like the longest, not the longest, but it is going to take you a while to cover the whole piñata. So right here it's. I told you guys before, I did end up going back to the Dollar Tree and bought myself some more paper. I did get a couple of colorful ones, which were for another piñata that I made. And then I got the white ones. I got two packs of it. I had previously bought one. It finished. So in total, I did use two and a half. If there's any left over, it's fine. Um, the tail from the unicorn and like all the hair, I did it from leftovers from other projects, which is great. Just save your paper and eventually you could use it for something else. So I did end up spending about $3 and some change. But I'll just, let's say I, I spent about $5 on this. You know? Um, plus a lot of time. And I am really liking the way it's coming out. Everything else that I used was pretty much recycled. Tape. Um, I already had the tape, but you could buy a roll of tape and it will help you for different stuff but yeah i love the way it is coming out so at the end after i covered it all in white i just added an a for her name and a six attached to it for her age i did add some eyes and the nostrils and i was finished with this piñata i love the way it came out i hope you guys did too please let me know what you think and thank you guys for watching till next time